Hi, today I want to introduce my GIF sequencer 2.0. What is the difference between GIF sequencer and GIF runner? GIF runner is an Android app which allows you to upload a single GIF file to the Twinkly Lights. And GIF sequencer is a Windows program which allows you to create a playlist of GIF files. The downside of the sequencer, it doesn't have a preview, so you have to check your graphic how it looks like before you put the playlist together. I assume you have already collected some GIF graphics for testing. In my case, I have already stored them under my GIFs. Uh, I recommend you to put it the, with the same name. Uh, it's easier for to follow the tutorial, but I will show you how to change the name later on. And the GIF files have to be saved under subdirectory. In my case, I've got some different category here. The details you can check out in my previous video. I highly recommend you to watch it before following this video. So first of all, you have to download the software from my Google Drive. I have already defined a shortcut for that. It's called tiny.cc gseq20j for Java, this one including the Java libraries. So it's quite huge. Download. You can see here it's over 50 megabyte. Okay, download it anyway. Okay, save it under my demo directory. It will take some time to download. Okay, it's done. Let's have a look. Now I can see the package here. You need the 7-zip uh, software to unpack the package. I've got it already installed and here extract. So then you will find the GIF sequencer directory and uh, there will be uh, exe file. That's the command line, just like the uh, GIF sequencer 1.0. The new thing in uh, 2.0 is the PowerShell script here. This one is the PowerShell script, uh, which will launch a UI. It will execute the command line. So let's run the batch file here, GIF sequencer. GUI. So the first time you launch the program, you will see a warning. So I have to allow the access to the network. Private networks is good enough. Allow access. Now you can see uh, the software has detected two Twingly lights. This is the Twingly lights ID and the IP address. In 2.0, you don't have to worry about the IP. It will find the light and use the IP. Unlike the first one, in the first version, you need to enter the IP address in command line. So let's close this pop-up, then we can continue. So this is a GIF sequencer 2.0 interface. At the moment, I don't have any playlist here. And you can see this is a listed the device. I have two Twingly lights and it's showing the Twingly ID. If you like, you can go ahead and use it like this, but uh, it's very hard to refer to the light if you only see the Twingly ID. Let me show you how to modify the setting, but this is only optional. So you don't need to do that. You can go ahead and continue with the Twingly ID. Now let's go to the home directory of the GIF sequencer and you will see a subdirectory called data. In this directory, you will see ipstxt. This is just generated when I launch the GIF sequencer. So when I open it, uh, you will see the Twingly ID and the IP address. Now we leave it open and go back to the GIF sequencer home directory 
and you will find a settings file here it's called PS1 it's a PowerShell script in my case I can launch it with the edit here it will launch the PowerShell environment so that's the the script this is the settings as I mentioned at the beginning you can change the GIF directory uh, later in this case it's set in the settings PS1 if you put your GIF file somewhere else then you can change the directory name here and you can see here this is a Chingli Lie ID and this is the name you can give it to this is only an example it, it's not referred to anything so now I just copy it put two more lines here and I'm going to grab this ID and put it here and the next ID here so because I already know my lights I can give it here the name like for example 400 string and this one is 210 curtain and save it so close everything now launch it again this is a pop up again just close it and you can see now I've got the light here it's showing the name I defined in the settings instead of showing the Twingly ID now let's work on our playlist at the moment we don't have any playlist here uh, here the, there's a button called generate it will generate a template for you basically it just fetch all the information from your GIF directory so you can see it's reading all the GIF files from the directories close the pop-up it will launch the editor automatically so uh, for the demonstration we don't need so many I'm going to delete them uh, I'm not going to the details of this file because you can find all the information in my previous video I'm going to copy a few more lines to make it longer so one thing is important the duration must be greater than zero otherwise it doesn't pick up the animation so I'm going to put here and the speed this is a frame per second uh, let's slow down a little bit and the next one is the same animation I'm going to re revert it and here the duration is 3 seconds and slow down the animation 3 seconds as well and revert this uh, I just want to show you the new feature because the old uh, GIF sequencer doesn't accept negative frame rate sometimes it's useful to re revert the animation you will see it later on okay now I have to save it in a new name I call it demo1 save it now you still don't see anything here uh, I have to click on the text here to refresh the list now you see this file is uh, generated when we click on the button here and this one is the modified version okay now let's upload the playlist to the light we have to select the playlist here on the top now we select this one and we can select the light where we want to upload to uh, for the demonstration I'm going to select all and click on upload button so you can see it's detecting the light and uploading the first playlist uh, yes one is done it's running already still uploading the second one now you can see the second one is delayed 
what we can do is we can start the playlist again by selecting the mode here. Here is the playlist and we set the mode to all the lights. Click on set. Now you can see the playlist just restarted. They are almost uh, synchronized but not exactly. So you can see it's running out and there's a reverse running back in. Let's create another playlist now. I can double click on the playlist and it just launched uh, this existing one. Uh, I save it with a new name. Let's call it Demo2. I'm going to revert the animation. I, I simply revert all the existing ones, so that, that's the Demo2. Save it again. Okay, now refresh the list. And you can see there's the Demo2. This time I'm going to upload to one set of lights only. So let's upload to the curtain. And yes. Okay, now it's uploaded. It's running something different. At the moment you can't really see it. Now let's restart the playlist. Okay, the playlist has restarted. Now you can see they are running in opposite direction. Uh, one is uh, expanding, the other one is shrinking. Uh, yeah. So one is in clockwise, the other one is counterclockwise. And one is up and the other one is down. Okay. Uh, you can also set uh, other modes here. If uh, you want, you can go back to demo mode, set mode. These are the demos of my light. So this is my GIF Sequencer 2.0. So basically the new feature is the user interface and the reward uh, animation. I hope you find this video useful. If you like it, please give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching. Bye.